Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my crafting room slash quilt room. And today we are going to continue on with um, making holiday gifts. Now, this one is particularly special to me um, because this has been in my family for a really long time and I'm going to show you how to make it. And I'm also going to give you the free pattern that you will be able to download on my website. It will be in a PDF form. There are four pages of it and, um, all you have to do is print it off, cut it, tape it together and you can do your own. So, um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to make a stocking today. And this is the stocking that we're going to make. This is the one um, that my mom made for my son. And I make these for my grandkids. So I have a new grandson that's gonna be one in February and this is his first Christmas. So I'm gonna make him his stocking for this year. And so now my mom, when she made all of ours, and she made my son his originally, but it got damaged, so we we modernized it. <laughs> but if you do not have vinyl, because I know not everybody does, what my mom did was she hand cut letters and she hand sewed them on here. She also hand sewed all the little got all these little trinkets that go on the um, stocking. I use a glue gun. <laughs> to simplify my life. Um, but anyway, so that is how we're gonna do this. This is what it looks like on the back. You can see that she had to revamp that. Um, so I'm gonna show you how we do this, what you will need for this this particular stocking. Now, you So I would just use um, flannel. So I have red flannel and I have green flannel and all I did was buy it in a package at, um, I think I got this one at Joann's, but you can buy it by the yard if you want to, depending on how much you plan on making. So I have red and I have green. And then what else I have is I have pinking shears, a glue gun, I like to buy little buttons for mine. So we're going to be doing buttons like that. I have a bunch of them. I haven't decided which ones are going to go on here. Ta-da, little snowman, Christmas wreath, um, the mittens. I don't know if you can see those. And of course, candy canes. So we are going to jump right in and get started. All right, so I have um, a piece of flannel that's in cut, the that's doubled, and I have my stocking laid on top of it. Now you will have the piece of paper, the pattern that I gave you, and that's what you will use. I'm gonna use this as my pattern. So I'm just gonna pop a couple pins in here just to hold this in place so that when I cut around it, it will be okay. And it will all stay in place. Let me quickly go through. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take my scissors. Now you could trace around this if you wanted to. I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to cut around very carefully. And uh, stay in the lines here. You will need a sewing machine. You'll need some thread. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, you know, because um, 
because I can tell you not everything is. <laughs> I've almost got this completely cut out, which is good. Now, these stockings have been around since, um, I believe, my grandpa, and maybe even before then. So these are a family tradition in my family. We make them out of felt. And they last for a really long time. I still have mine that was made for me when I was a baby. And um, they're really cute. I love them. So, now I'm going to take these pens out of here. I do need to do a couple other things real fast before we finish cutting. So, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to need to cut the heel the heel and we need to cut the toe now that is included in the pattern that i that i gave you so i am going to draw this part out um, and I'm going to use a Sharpie and I'm just gonna stick it underneath. Now, like I said, you don't need to worry about this. I've already done this on the pattern for you. And then of course, so you can see I've just, and then I just do that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the front. Just gonna draw that little Circle, just trace it. And then I just freehand that part. Now I can cut these out. That'll probably fit okay. So you just wanna make sure it's gonna fit like right there. I cut that one a little bit shorter than normal, but again, not a big deal, right? Put that one. Put it on like that. All right, so we've got that part done. We need to cut these pieces here, the two green pieces up here. And again, we've already done that um, on the instructions so you don't need to worry about it you want that to be two inches approximately so i am just going to mark actually i'm just going to draw a straight line and then mark two inches you can use anything you want to to mark this I'm just using a ruler and a mat to draw it. And you're going to need one for the front and the back. So you will need two pieces of the green. And I'm just going to like that. Okay, that's done. Now 
Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to measure this on our, oops, we don't want to lose those green pieces that we just cut. There we go. So this goes up here at the top like that. I'm just going to even that one up in case you're wondering. So you can even these up if you want to. And I will flip this on the back side. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Ooh, this one looks pretty doggone good. So I'm not too, too worried about this one. Okay. Yeah. So then you're going to want to sew this one on and you're going to want to do this. Um, you're going to want to do this first. You're going to want to do it on each side singly before you stitch it together because you're going to want to stitch this top part. And I like to use a, a zigzag stitch on this top part. And I also do a zigzag on this bottom part. But I use the single stitch when I'm attaching the whole stocking together. And this is included in that piece. The same with the back piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go sew this together. So again, let's recap on how to do this. I'm going to sew with a straight stitch all the way around the stocking. But before I do that, I'm actually going to stitch on my top pieces right there and my back piece I'm going to do that individually before I stitch up at this top part okay so I'm going to go ahead and go do that right now and also once I am finished with stitching these pieces on I am going to take the red piece which is for my um this is going to be for the loop and this is one and a half inches by eight inches. So, I'm just gonna cut it there. And then this is one and a half. Okay, I botched that. We're in a market <laughs> instead. Um, why do I keep doing one half inch? There's one. Yeah, that's one and a half. It's just easier to mark things, but your pattern has all of this measured out for you, so you don't need to worry about it. All right, and then eight inches. Then it doesn't matter. You can cut it wherever you want to. You're just gonna fold it in half. So, once I'm finished sewing everything around on this, then I will fold this in half, like so. And I will stick it here. And I will include that right here for the hook, for my zigzag stitch. All right, I've sewn this all together. And I think it looks pretty awesome. Now what I did do was I did something a little different than what I normally do, but I zigzagged here, I zigzagged around here, I actually straight stitched around here. So it just gave it a little, little bit of oomph. And I also used pinking shears, just to kind of make it look a little different. So now we're ready to start decorating. And how I'm going to do this, now this is what I was talking about. So 
if you have a Cricut machine or something where you can do iron on vinyl, then you can definitely do this. Um, if not, you can hand cut these letters. You can just download a template off the internet and do it. Um, or do however you want. You can get real creative. It's your stocking. You do it how you need to do it. Um, but I am just going to put that on there and I'm going to use my little mini heat press here. This is the Cricut mini heat press. It's really tiny. This is my Cricut heat press mat. And all that I am going to do is I am just going to put this right on top of my carrier sheet and just heat it up. This little iron is so perfect <laughs> for projects like this. I also use this little iron um, for paper piecing sometimes. It works great. So if you're in the market for one of these, this is uh, pretty awesome. Just saying. And I think this is actually probably just about done. So hopefully. Okay. We'll find out. Um, might need just a little bit more. This is glitter iron on that I'm working with and it does, it takes it a little bit to adhere. So, all right. There we go. And it's on. Ta-da. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, because we're going to be done with this real quick, um, is I'm going to put the other sign that I made that says made with love by grandma in the year. And I'm just going to put this on the back here. And again, same thing. This is just so that He'll know someday who made this for him. My mom used to hand stitch this on the back. She would just do it with some thread that it was made made by her. Looks pretty cool to me. All right. So we are now done with this part of it. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of these. Now, like I said, these are buttons. And these actually work perfectly with this project. I'll show you what I do and then I'll finish it off and show you what the finished product looks like. But they don't want to come out. So. All right, they all want to go the opposite direction of what I want them to. <laughs> okay. For buttons, now you can either sew these on like so, um, but I am not going to do that. I'm actually going to glue mine on and I'm going to break off that little button thing right there. And the way I do that is I just take my wire cutters, pop it off. Oh, yeah, it flies everywhere, I know. Um, but I'm going to just stick that on there. So up there, and then this one, this little piece of candy, I will put down on 
here or on the heel. Come on. And sometimes they don't fly off. All right. I'll put that one there because it's cute there. And I have some, like I said, I have a lot of these little buttons. So, presents. So, every new baby in our family gets one of these, and so does um, a new spouse. So. There's one that's ready to go. Probably put that one there. Those are really tiny. I don't know if I want them that small. Those are pretty small. everywhere. That's a little girl bear. That probably won't work. <laughs> Not for a little boy. <laughs> okay, so look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? He says joy. So sweet. Put that one in the middle. There's my snowflakes. All right. So if you're wondering where I get these from, I get my buttons from Joann's. I got them there when they were on sale. Probably, well, I know I picked them up a couple years ago. Um, Maybe I'll just do another snowflake. That might be kind of cute. Okay. So there's those. So now all I would do, now I'm gonna do is just glue these down and then I'm just gonna continue going down on my, um, my stocking and adding more of the buttons. I'm just gonna do the same thing. And then I will come back and I will show you what it looks like once we're done. Okay, so I have finished the stocking for my grandson and I'm going to show you. And again, I want to remind you that you can get this pattern on my website, craftyauthor.com. And here is the finished product. That turned out so cute. See? Now this is actually white glitter um, iron-on, but it turned pink. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. You can still see it, right? You can really, really see it. So um, it won't matter. It, you can see it from far away, so. That part won't matter. That one was my grandson's. This one is my son's that my mom made for him. And so those are how you make the um, stocking. So if you're interested in doing something like that or starting a new family tradition in your family, now you have something to do. Well, that is it for me uh, this week. Uh, we are almost at Christmas time. So yay super excited about that um if you would like to follow me on social media the links are down below in the description box don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
be sure to click that little bell and um, click on get notifications for all and you will be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And that is it. Keep on crafting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.